Hey there, everybody. It's your weird uncle XV, and uh, I am here to do yet another regicide. Banners of Ruin. Uh, <clears throat> I've reviewed the last couple of recordings that I've made, and one of the things that I've determined is, holy shit, I talk a lot, don't I? Um, the first just about ten minutes of the past two recordings have been basically me babbling about nonsense or nothing, so I'm going to uh, try to cut that down a little bit this time before my edibles kick in. And uh... So, we're going to be doing a challenge run this time. This time the challenge is going to be Humble Beginnings. This is one of my... Uh, this is one of the more interesting challenges. Your starter deck contains only four strikes, three guards, and one solid footing. I'm going to show you what that difference actually is. So... Your starting deck actually includes several complex cards, or more advanced cards at least. Uh, specifically, uh, Kick, Momentum, Rush, uh, Vanguard, and Sharpened Steel. Skip around a bit in there. Um, <clears throat> of these cards, at early game, these cards are actually quite strong. Momentum and Rush are very, very instrumental on uh, in helping mice do literally anything in the early levels of the game before they have any of their talents or any other multi-strike cards. Kick is very often the only CC that you get available throughout an entire run. Uh, Vanguard is a very strong hit. It's uh, 10 damage from a front rank character. These are all very strong cards for early game. In late game, apart from Rush and uh, arguably Rush and Sharp and Steel, most of these cards also probably uh, arguably they also kick. Most of these cards lose quite a bit of their luster. They stop being quite as valuable. Momentum uh, mostly becomes valuable as uh, either a, a card cycle or the fact that it is a zero cost card, thus making it ideal for placing. Uh, card upgrades on. So the challenge that we're going to be doing, once again, let me get back to that. Hold on. So the challenge we're going to be doing is called Humble Beginnings. Your starter deck contains only four strikes, three guards, and one solid footing. What this means is that we're going to be starting with a, a pretty fucking basic ass deck. Because the deck is going to be so basic, I'm not going to be taking any chances. I'm going to be starting with a very strong opening team, Beaver and Weasel. Beaver is one of the strong... Well, this is essentially, in my opinion, it's the strongest possible early game uh, team. And if you are having any difficulties with this game, if you're having trouble uh, making it through the various encounters, if you're having difficulties with the, the challenge curve... This is a very strong opening hand. Uh, it The Weasel gives you a tremendous amount of very early game power. The Beaver gives you a, a, an incredibly strong front line right away. So that's actually what we're going to be doing this time. We're going to be using the Weasel to f uh, uh, fill in the void that those more complex attack cards have left. And uh, Beaver is very, very strong front line. So hopefully we should be okay. This is, to be to be very clear, I'm not perfect at this game. As I've said before, I do misplay. Sometimes I fuck up. But very particularly, this challenge is a rough one. Because it's, take, it's going to be making my early game much more difficult. But it will be making my late game a little bit better. Hmm. Definitely starting with Gift. Definitely starting with Gift. It's going to be making my late game a little bit better because I'm going to have a leaner deck right off, right out of the gate. And I, uh, among the cards that I'm not going to be having are cards that, again, lose their luster as we go through. These are my three uh, opening gifts. First Aid is quite good, but I'm going to be skipping it. Mentor allows me to... Pretty sure this is the one that lets me duplicate a card, which in this case, I... I I have fucking nothing worth duplicating. Uh, <clears throat> gift, 250 florins to start with. That's that's decent. We'll go with that. And right away, I have misplayed. I completely forgot to uh, set up my team in the appropriate place. So that's not going to be a big deal. You notice that this is this is right away we can see the uh, the power of the weasel right out of the gate. 
this dude is dead. He's not going. He is not going to be able to take any actions at all. So, yeah. So yeah. Not a whole lot else that needs to be said about that, huh? Oh, and I don't have any more stamina. Oh yeah, that's right. My edibles are already kicking in. Okay then. But Kans is obvious. Instinct is... Uh, this, so this is a card that I have a love-hate relationship with. Instinct is a great card. Uh, draw this character's next talent card from your draw pile. It is... Okay. So before casting, this is a card that needs a little bit of preparation. You need to check your draw pile to see which of your active characters actually has a talent card in your draw pile. And then if there's multiple of the if there's multiple talent cards from that character in the draw pile, there's no guarantee which of them you're going to get. It is, however, still a very, very useful card, but not just yet. Obviously, we have no talents. Quick hands has uh, its preparation. It's preparation and immediate card draw. It's expensive, but it uh it's always got a place in our deck. We are, again, going to be going after the Prince. Hoping that, uh, so far, uh, and I, again, yet again, I've forgotten to change up my fucking <laughs> combat settings. Ah, oh, for God's sake, that's fine. Okay, so I've got eight damage coming in on you. I can cover that up. Round Shield is, of all of your starting cards, I would say that arguably Round Shield is it's it's one of the best. Not not arguably. It is one of the best starting cards. Luckily, it's not one of the ones that is uh affected by this uh by this challenge, seeing as how it's a weapon card. Thank God for that. I have enough. Yeah, okay. So it's eight damage coming in the two of them. Let's get a little bit more damage out. All right. None of these. Okay. Calculating Strike and Brace. I haven't... I, I don't think I've gotten a Brace in either of the previous recordings that I've done. Brace is an excellent, excellent card. Uh, this this uh, effect is Anticipation. It ignores one hit incoming. It is a single source of incoming damage. So if there's a multi-strike incoming, it'll ignore the first strike, but if there's a big fucking nuke incoming, you get to ignore the whole thing. The trade-off is that the stamina cost of the card, as you can see, it is increased by one for the remainder of this combat. So you can't just keep on spamming this thing out. It very quickly becomes too expensive to cast. That being said, it's a very powerful effect. Calculating Strike is another very powerful effect because it gives me two preparation. I already have a little bit of prep, so I'm gonna go with Brace because I don't have anticipation just yet. All right, uh, Overzealous Guards is potentially a combat encounter. Yeah, we can bribe them to go away, or we can go into combat. I really don't know why the bribe option is there. I've, it's possible that maybe I get something good out of it. Uh, the Maybe the, uh, the bear gives us something nice. And yet again, I've forgotten to change... Oh my god. What is the matter with you? <laughs> uh. All right, then. So, I'm not going to waste, I'm not going to waste my, uh, uh, the brace on him just yet, because, uh, it's much more likely that I'm going to need to throw it on my, uh, on my weasel, seeing as how he's out there in his light fucking armor. All right, one source of damage completely down. He is luckily ticking down. He will slowly tick away. But it's obviously 
obviously not fast enough. Okay, so that's 12 damage incoming towards my weasel, who can now take 12 damage. Okay, that's good. Nope! Wrong damn button. And now you're pacified. Fan fucking fantastic. <laughs> Some of you might say, but XV, why would you play when you're just getting high? Well, the answer is, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Put that anticipation on him right now. We are. Uh, okay. Kimbo is an excellent card that is not going to... Well, actually, it kind of is. Yes, yes, it absolutely is. It's, it's currently worth 16 damage. Reserve is not worth very much to me right now, but I will want reserves later. I'm going to take a Kimbo now because it's going... I, I am uh, I'm a bit of a loss for uh, advanced combat cards. Uh, he gets an extra stamina. Uh. Attrition is okay. Deal five damage. You know, it's 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 okay. It's not. This is not the right. He's not the right uh, class to have this card. Obviously, that is a much better card for a mouse. But it's something. And it only costs one, and it's it's not a will burner, so I'm okay with it. Uh, nefarious. So we're now going to run headfirst into my biggest problem with weasels. Their talent cards, in my opinion, really aren't... They're not great. They're nothing... I mean, they're not bad. They're fine. But there's nothing really, really spectacular that stands out. There's nothing like what... Uh, what a mouse or a wolf will end up getting. And mice and wolf get some of the best talent cards in the fucking game. Nefarious, however, is pretty good. Five bleed for two five bleed, two card draw for two stamina is not bad. And he gets another will so that he can have another brace of shivs to throw out. And uh yeah, she gives me nothing, she just fucking runs off. Alright, so Combat positions, shall we? There we go. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna roll the dice. First we're gonna see what this hidden gem is. It's just a card draw. That's fine. Card draw is always good. I'm going to put that onto something that we will always be casting. Uh, I don't have any reason... I, I don't have anyone who really need. Oh, I don't even have it. That's right. I have no uh, zero-cost cards. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the next best thing that I'm definitely going to be playing every time I see it. Uh, let's put that on attrition for now. Okay. Ooh, we're going to take a big fucking dice roll. This is possibly going to be a terrible idea that might fuck me over. We are going to take an elite combat way too early. Oh, uh, pray for me. Not good. Okay, not amazing. That war bow is okay. It's expensive, but it's uh, it's ten damage plus an additional eight damage for every rank between this character and the opponent. It's uh, ten damage for any cards that deal with that deal weapon damage. Uh, superior heavy armor is great. That means that this is basically what he's going to be wearing for the rest of the game. It also means that he doesn't get too many actions right now. Um, but we're going to be going into a pretty fucking dangerous fight. Yep. Okay. We are potentially immediately biting off way more than we can fucking chew. So, it's 10 damage to the row. And... Okay. 10 damage to the row, 20 damage coming into him. She, he, can, he can take that. That's no problem. And let's bolster up this barricade a little bit more. Uh, okay, good. So he'll die this round. Alright, that's one down. Five to go. Not going to be casting this because I want to throw out my brace of ships first. So I have... Ah, shit, you know what? That was dumb. I should have checked to see what they were doing first and thrown a brace on him. 
Uh, and also, I should have checked to see who, who, which of them. Ah, I hit the wrong guy. Fuck. It's it's a possibly potentially all right. We'll see. I am gonna take some damage. Way too early to take damage. And also, I'm taking on some winded, which sucks. Uh, 24 damage coming in towards my. Uh, 24 damage coming in towards my beaver, who can absolutely take 24 damage. That is not a problem at all for him. Let's get some more armor up on you. Not a very good round. Okay. Okay, that's, that's, I'm a lot, I feel a lot better about that. He's just gonna die. Let's see if we can get him down too. Okay, so that's just 8 damage coming to my barricade, no damage coming to my weasel. And let's get quick hands up and running. A little bit of extra card draw. Which doesn't really matter too much right now, I don't have anything, I don't have anything all that great in my deck. Warbo! This is a fun card. So, uh, 8 damage for every rank between this character and the opponent. 1 rank, 2 rank. Come on. There we go. 20 damage. Or actually more than that. It was uh, bad at math damage. Motherfuck. Again, I'm about to get fucked up because I did not bother to check what was coming at me. What a dumbass. All right, I'm again going to take a little bit of damage. Uh, so it's going to be... I'm going to be taking... Six damage and one bleed. Yeah. Two bleed? Shit. That's not good. Well, this is overall uh, kind of terrible. Kind of terrible. A couple cards out. And also, let's get a fucking brace on you. Fucking finally. He's just going to gain... He's going to gain armor out of control. Uh, one of the mods for this is that uh, is the maximum armor that he can gain is 100. So, again, another 24 damage coming in towards him. Who can absolutely fucking take 24 damage? I'm not concerned about it. I am a little concerned that he, he doesn't get any actions per round, but... We can deal, we can deal. So let's make sure that you just fucking die. He's dead. And let's get more armor on him as a just in case, because these guys have bleed. This is, by the way, an encounter I never would have taken if I did not have uh, the opening party of Beaver Weasel. I never would have attempted this. The only reason why I have is because he, because of his ships. He, he is capable of pumping out uh, a... Uh, a st not staggering, but a very, very respectable amount of damage in the first couple of rounds. He can do, um, if he's got two will, he can put out nine bleed, which is uh, nine piercing, eight piercing, seven piercing, six piercing. It's usually enough to kill most... It's usually enough to kill most... Uh... Hey, buddy. Nemo has come over here to say hello. Say hello, Nemo. We're going to pick up Well Rested right away. Okay. I have a, uh, a very large, incredibly spoiled cat named Nemo. And he is here to say hello to me. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Love you, too. Good boy. All right. Seems a bit early for this. I'm going to... So, uh, I'm going to explain one of the things that I uh, sometimes do. Combat is a basic card. It's experience and it's money. It's worth going after. Uh, let me explain what I mean. Uh, so, right here, see this too? That means that in uh, uh, I can actually go to the combat and then go to the boat merchant. But if I hit the combat first, I need to take the boat merchant next. And if there's something better than a combat underneath this boat merchant, like, for example, Kilderkin, I have to pass up that Kilderkin in order to definitely take the boat merchant. So, rather than rolling the dice, I'm going to go ahead and take boat merchant first. I'm going to pass up on that uh, combat. And I'm hoping, just in case, there's something better than the combat under... There's something better than a combat under the combat. And there was... A uh, fucking search party, whatever. Okay.
Okay. Let's see. I don't want to waste a shiv on this guy who's only got... Oh, I don't want to waste a shiv on this guy who's only got five health. I'm going to uh, unload them on this guy up here. I'm taking some extra... Uh, I'm taking some extra action, some extra damage this round, but none of it's going to go to vitality. These guys are just going to be banging off of my armor. This this beaver is just going to basically stand here and be a wall for the rest of the goddamn game. The armor gains on superior heavy armor are... They're... A, it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay. That's two hits. That's all my actions this round. The trade-off, obviously, is that he just doesn't get to do much every round. Shit. He's taking a lot of incidental damage. I'm not into that. With incoming... Okay, you know what? It's now enough is enough. Night. Ten damage coming towards you. Uh, you are definitely going to die. And now you are also going to die. We're a little bit on the back foot because I took that... Uh, because I took that uh, um, elite encounter. Overall, it was not worth it. I, I was I'm kind of worth it. It was worth it for the experience uh, and for the money. But the immediate rewards of the armor and the weapons I did not get any. Did, I guess. The war bow is fine. I did get a better weapon for my beaver. I did get a decent... Ah, uh, invigorating glow. Thank you very much. I didn't get... Uh, uh, honestly, this early in the game, I don't want superior heavy. What I want is... Thank you very much. I'll take it. This bear, I said this before, you see this bear, you run towards this bear. And the answer is you bet $300 on winning two relatively easy fights. Relatively, he said. So, let's see. We've got 20 damage coming towards you, 10 damage to the barricade. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the war bow. I'm just going to start loading them up with bleeds. doesn't need the extra armor. Okay. So he's dead next round. Alright. And uh, they're splitting their efforts. Fine with that. bleed on him is not good. It's not the end of the world, though. They are not going to be busting through this this round. So I'm going to give him a brace in the back, because I feel like that's probably going to come down fairly soon. Invigorating uh, blow, but I don't have the uh, I don't really have the uh, the power to get the, the restoration from it. But still, it's a zero cost, eight damage card. It's very, very strong, even if you don't get the bonus effects. All right, then. Shit. You notice, without those more advanced combat cards in my deck, I am actually struggling quite a bit here. Damage coming towards you. There's a, a point, especially in the very early game, where you can enter kind of a doldrums where your guys don't really have enough, they don't have any will left to cast any of their better cards. So you're sort of not really treading water, but you're struggling to get across that finish line. Oh, please give me something good. <sighs> Calculating strike is good. It's good. I need more damage. I need more damage for less less cost than two. That's going to be a great card for later on. And now I do have... I have a Calculating Strike and I have a Quick Hands, so I don't need to worry too much about getting uh, Anticipation into my deck just yet. This guy I'm worried about. Are you going to go, buddy? Okay. I'll be right here if you need me. Love you too. 
Everybody say, bye Nemo. Bye Nemo. Okay, so 18 damage coming to the barricade. Uh, 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 let's start unloading on him. He's going to be my next target because he can. I can definitely get him down next round. Bruiser is the most dangerous one on the field. He is ticking down. That's uh, okay. So that's five damage. That is going to be. Yeah, I'm losing the barricade this round. Let's get rid of him. Let's make sure that he dies. Six, nine, and nine. Good. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Every all damage is coming at my beaver. Ten damage is fine. I'll do that. Let's get another shitload of bleed on top of you. How about? That was a waste. I should have put that on the Enforcer. Uh, this this bruiser is going to die from his bleeds. Uh, it, uh, uh, fucking bumping into his armor was uh, it was not a good move. It's not going to cost me, he said, hopefully. You still here, buddy? You want to back up? Oh, you know what? I bet you're kind of hungry. It's not time for lunch yet, though. So I'm going to ask you to chill. I'll feed you in just a little bit, okay? Good boy, and I love you. So, 8 damage. Don't like how... I don't like how this is, uh... <laughs> don't like that! Can I kill him this round? I don't think so. Give him some bleed. Perfect. Okay. So what happened there, I was deciding between cards to get extra cards into my hand. What I was looking for was some kind of a defense, but what I got was better, obviously. A second brace is not a bad idea. Overbearing swing I don't particularly care for. It's just a bit too fiddly. I don't need another quick hands, and I... I don't need I don't need a field dressing. We're gonna skip. All right, let's see what we got. All these are crap. This is not great. Whenever this card plays a card costing will or uses their ability, they gain ten vitality. That's fine. That means he gets he's he's because he's going to be casting his barricade once per combat. So that means he's going to be regaining health at a rate of ten per combat. I'll take it. Now he's going to have two stamina per round. He can actually start taking some actions. Two will. Scheisse. Uh, energetic is pretty good. It's pretty good. But my vitality is pretty low right now. Practice is quite good for a... Uh, for a weasel. Because we want him to be... We want him to be hitting his... his uh, we want him... Uh, Blech. Practice gives me uh, a card. What it? Blech. Oh my goodness! Let's try this a third time. Practiced is card draw every time I hit his racial button. Uh, I because he's a weasel. I want to be hitting that racial button fairly frequently. So it's it's a good card for him. Uh, uh, we're gonna hold off on the crossroads for the moment. Let's try brawlers. We're not buying anything. None of this is worth buying. None of this is worth... Well, actually, shit, we are way the fuck ahead on money, especially because we got managed to find that uh, that arena event. Let's see what the Sage has for us. I don't remember what he does. Gain a skill, remove a card, or reroll a talent. What are my talents? I could reroll attrition. I could absolutely reroll attrition. Could absolutely be roll attrition. I have the money to spare. I have the money to spare. Could absolutely re-roll attrition. 
Or I could also gain a skill. Because... Uh, Wild Brawl. I'll take that. Let's go ahead and get this back onto attrition then. Uh, that's a damn shame. Whatever's underneath anxiety is uh, gonna have to gonna have to get fucked, I guess. Shit, that sucks. Cause I can't afford to take five damage. Let's go after the slightly harder combat. All the damage is coming at my my uh, beaver, but my beaver does have. He's got some decent. Uh, he's got some decent. Sustain at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and go after the guy who's going to die much quicker. I think I can get him down. Yep, there we go. So he'll die this round. Good, good. What I've said several times. What you should be going for. So the the overall strategy. There's a, a lot of overall strategies. The macro game is the macro game, but the micro game for each individual for each individual turn, you really should be aiming to reduce the amount of incoming actions by one every round. If you can do so, generally speaking, you're doing okay. If you can reduce incoming enemy actions by more than one per round, you're generally fucking killing it. But generally. We are mostly at that point. We are mostly at that point by the end of the first street. So I am okay with us. Again, I want to I want to repeat this. I'm not guaranteed to win. I'm good at this game, I would say. I have I the Nintendo Switch doesn't tell you... Well, I suppose I could try to... I could go into the fucking settings or something. The Nintendo Switch doesn't give me a good idea of how... Exactly how many hours I have played. Uh, I know that... Um, it's about somewhere in the neighborhood of 170 hours on the Switch. And I think it's about 100... Maybe 200, 150 to 275. Something like that. I have almost or over 300 to 350 hours on this game in total. Yeah, 12 damage is... 12 damage is alright, I'll do that. What are you doing? Are you doing nothing? You're doing nothing. Okay, well, you just sit fucking there and do nothing then, shall you? Flanking Strike is okay. It's okay. It's a weapon damage card, but I don't have any strong weapons at the moment. I'm re-rolling. There's a question. Do I take Running on Fumes when I don't have a bear? The answer is yes. I do actually want that Running on Fumes. This is quite a good card. But there's, I don't have anything worth pairing it with right now, and I want to keep, I want to keep the shield on my beaver because that's that shield, that round shield, is the only way that I have of getting armor onto the barricade. Quick round, fucking perfect. All right, let's just resolve some of my problems. So we have a, a choice here: weapon cash for uh, to roll the dice at getting some better armor. Better weapons, actually, at this point. Merchant in trouble is a free two hundred and fifty dollars, which we don't need. And wishing well is uh, we can remove a card, which I think would probably be one of the strikes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. So we're removing, we're removing a card, which is going to be a strike, and we're going to get nice, fucking nice, negative one stamina cost. And I'm going to put that on Kimbo for right now. Is there anything better I can put that on? Nah, Akimbo is it for right now. That's fine. Alright. Next couple of rounds, 
the weasel's going to be getting some uh, additional uh, stamina. I'm going to be aiming to get one more will on the beaver. Mm. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to cast Wild Brawl, which means that I'm not going to be throwing out a brace of shivs this round, simply because I, I can't cast all of them. I don't want my shivs going into my discard pile. I am going to, tr if I can, if I can help it, I'm going to avoid casting, and you should too, avoid casting your shivs if you don't have the, if you, you don't want them to, you don't want them to discard. Simple as that. You don't want them to discard because it's a, it's a, uh, it's a great card to play in the moment, but it's not a great card to draw. Right, you can go ahead and do nothing next round. This one, you can do some shit. And everyone's dead. Perfect. Perfect. Equilibrium is the card that I uh, unlocked by doing the uh, challenge encounter last time. It's draw three, discard two. So it's a... I don't know if I want it because of that discard. And I don't know. I definitely don't want any of these. Tensions is not bad. I'm going to go ahead and take Tensions. It's a zero-cost card. That's good. Okay, so we're going to go to the Altar first. Get 15 extra Vitality onto Yanning. This is the Crossroads now, and then we're going to go after the Heavy Patrol. Okay, I'm going to start off with that Wild Brawl again, because it's it's 12 damage to a rank at this stage in the game is just peaches. It's... it's... And there's a brace in case that asshole starts shooting at him. Wild Brawl can become a very expensive card, especially when you have six guys, because that is a total of... Uh, seven stamina, but it's seven stamina spread out over all of you guys. So, uh, yeah. Amortization. Who are you shooting? Are you shooting the barricade? Fine. That's fine. You can fuck yourself. You can do whatever the hell you want to against that fucking barricade. Uh... Actually, I think you're probably just gonna die this round. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm going to move that card draw off of, uh, definitely getting it off of, uh, uh, the, I forget the name of the card even. What the fuck are you called? I'm gonna, I'm pulling it off of Attrition, because I, I'm not casting enough. I'm gonna put it onto, uh, 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 Precision Strike. Invigorating Blow, what the hell? I'm gonna be putting it onto Invigorating Blow, because it's, it's, that's a card I'm definitely casting every time it comes up. Or possibly Tensions, because it's another, it's a zero-cost card, so... So, uh, we picked up Tensions. I'll show it to you in a second. It's not a great card. The only reason why I have it is because it's zero cost. I am going to eventually want Rear Guard. I am going to eventually want Rear Guard. I de like, uh, there's no circumstance where Rear Guard is not a good idea. I'm going to go ahead and take it. It's not great at this point in the game. Buckler is a very good card. It costs two, and it only gives you five armor, but it does include that uh, that anticipation. But I don't think it's worth sticking in my stash. I don't think it's worth sticking in my stash. Yeah, I'm going to skip it. It is a good shield, though. It is a good shield. Okay, let's change some shit. So, uh... I have noticed that I have not cast Attrition several times, and Attrition has a valuable effect on it. So, fuck a bunch of that shit, Vigorating Blow. While I'm here, let's talk about Tensions. Once again, the only reason why I really have it is because it's a zero-cost card. But there's another reason also. It's, it's a cheap 
source of over of uh, uh, overwhelm, which I don't have any other sources of. The primary effect add three. That's mark to enemy rank. What mark does is when you kill an opponent that has mark on it, every other enemy gains an equal amount of vulnerability. It's not a super exciting effect. What is more exciting is I may actually be able to hire all three of them. I probably won't because I don't care for bunnies. Edelgore, start a turn. Okay, so you're this dude is immune to bleed. He's our he's okay. Poignard. Poignard with nothing. I mean, Nefarious is a pretty good card though. So this is this is he's a. I'm going to say he's a definite maybe. Castlemead. <sighs> Fuck you for actually having decent cards. Uh, the club is okay. The Strange Mist is great because it removes... It costs Will, which is fine on a bunny because I am not interested in casting his racial. Uh, and it removes Bleed and Poison. So that's another maybe. That's, honestly, it is a maybe. Motherfuck. Okay. Now this is a third maybe. Well, shit. Okay, you'd be back rank. First of all, we're definitely taking you. Superior medium. Kite shield. Ugh. Uh, mm. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to hire all three of these guys. We'll see if that's a bad idea later. We're going to try it for right now. Uh, who is in the middle? There's Hasselthwaite. This is Castlemead. Let's change some positions for visibility's sake because the bunny is much taller than the weasels. So I have beaver, beaver, bunny, weasel, weasel. And as this is now five... This is now uh, uh, five members. This is going to be my team for the rest of this game. You notice, I don't have any fucking mice, and I don't have any fucking bears. I may have just made a terrible mistake, but we're gonna fucking stick with it. All three of these guys had... All three of the guys, they had decent enough... Decent enough stuff for me to not immediately say, fuck no but nothing amazing that made me, you know, that really, really stood out. By the way, this is Sledge. Sledge ain't shit. I really have no idea what Sledge does. Uh, he, he he has some various effects, I, I shouldn't doubt. But, um... I, I couldn't really tell you what they are. I, I've, I've never bothered to check. He doesn't live long enough. Okay. So this is your job from now on. That's just what you do. Oh, yes. Because of the, uh... Let's see if that's a problem. We're gonna just keep on loading bleeds onto Sledge. He likes it. Okay, that's enough. you down. 
He's already fucked. The uh, sledge, that is. That was unnecessary. I should have hit the fucking. That's eh, dumb. Anyway. So, my team is not what I had been building towards previously, but uh, I want to take a gamble. I want to try something different. I also want to go into the second street with full, with uh, five guys. I want I, I, I want to be able to fully trivialize uh, the next couple of rounds of target. Right, next couple of rounds of combat, fuck's sake. No. No. Oh, I forgot to check the equipment. Motherfucker. <laughs> I hope there wasn't anything good in there. Uh, yeah, that'll do. And an extra stamina is fine. Sulfuric Bomb is not bad. Yep, Sulfuric Bomb. I'll take that. And extra stamina. Alright, so let's see who is farthest along. Four, four... Okay. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it to my uh to Terrawin. So he can get his second. Oh, weasel with fucking flow. Oh god, flow or blessed. Motherfucker. What a rough, rough <laughs> shit. Okay, so uh either Weasel with Flow wins the game, but a Weasel with Blessed can can put all the rest of his uh levels into stamina. Blessed gives you just Two free will. It's just two free will. But flow, flow wins the game. Flow also means that uh, I'm going to be favoring will over stamina for him. Pretty much in perpetuity. I'm going to be going for him having six stamina. And uh, yeah, six stamina so that he can uh, cast and use two braces of uh, shivs per round. But I also want him to have a fuck ton of... Uh, I want him to have a fuck ton of will for his, uh, for his, for his shivs. Okay. I'm rolling the dice on you in particular, Kesselmead. I don't like rabbits, and the only reason why this motherfucker is here is because he had a really advantageous card that is going to come in handy quite a bit. And also, it's a card that costs will, and I don't give a shit about his will, because his, his ability... Look, it's... Especially because I don't even have kick. Do these guys even move? Fuck it. So this is a trap! We step on the trap. Ah, 15 vitality damage. Oh no! Not fucking around. Notice, I only have two stamina, but this weasel has flow, so there is a chance. See that? That one of his uh, one of his blades will uh, drop down to zero. I need a better weapon for him, basically, immediately. Uh, na, na, na. Nah. Should probably put that feint to uh, Yanning. That would be a better idea. Except his is... It's not a... Kite Shield is, is not a card that I am in love with. It has a really, really strong effect that uh, is difficult to pull off. So... If, if his armor, it's not difficult to pull off, it's just, it's not an effect that I want to pull off. If he, uh, it ticks down every fucking round, which is, I mean, like, it's not something you could put on and then just save, like, anticipation. Uh, the first time his characters, his, uh, his defense is broken while he still has faint, everyone in the rank gets one rage, which is double damage for that round, which is, it's very nice. But the problem is, is that he's gonna be in the back rank, I Put him in the front, but if he's in the front rank, I don't want his armor to be broken. Yes, buddy, I know. Okay, let me finish this fight, and then I'll come get you, alright? I'll get you. 
Is it lunchtime even? Yeah, it's close enough to lunchtime. That's fine. Oh, yes, because I cast his fucking trap, now he can't throw his strange mist. Okay. 16, 20, 23, so he dies. And so does he. There's another reason why I have Kesselmead uh, along. I uh, he's the only he's the only character that I do not have at he's the only class I don't have at max rank, and I it's been bothering me that I don't have a that I, I'm not rank ten. I'm rank ten with every other class except for rabbits. No, none of these. Okay, so uh, we're gonna take a break for I'm gonna say two minutes. So if you're watching this recording, skip ahead by about uh, maybe two minutes, and uh, if you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. If you're watching this live, all zero of you, you can go ahead and chill for about two minutes. I'm going to feed my buddy. Give me a minute. Good boy. Come on, buddy. Okay, one second, coming back. All right, buddies are fed. Let's move on. That's interesting. I'm not familiar with this one. No. No, absolutely not. 
Oh, that is very good, though. That's excellent. This uh, second skin is a great fucking card. Um, <clears throat> it means that with a uh, with, with with heavy armor, he gets ten per round. With superior heavy armor, he gets sixteen. I don't need. I, mean, I, I was curious to see what this would offer me, but I. I yeah, I, I'm not interested in uh, in taking any of these guys. Uh, shit. Standard Parish is what I honestly need right now, but Weapons Cash is also... I, I My weapons are bad. Thank God for that. Okay, so, Hesselthwaite. My front rank has armor. Great sword. You can take that. You can take that. That's much better, too. Let's swap this out. Steadfast, huh? Kite shield. <gasps> I don't particularly like the flail, but at the same time, 8 damage to vitality. Oh, it pierces. All right, I take it back. We're going to trade this out with uh, Kesselmeet going to have Steadfast. Uh, okay, okay. All right. It was worth it. It was very worth it. Let's check something out real quick. Uh, Gavi Yanning. I'll, I guess that's male. Okay. Frederick Tarawin. All right. Seston Idlegore. I'm not sure if that's male or female. Rainer Hesselthwaite. And uh, Bjorn Kesselmead. You know, sometimes they have names like just like Melissa and and Lauren or Elizabeth, and and sometimes I guess also they have names like Seston. Just wanted to see. Uh, we're going after this motherfucker right here, by the way. This is an interesting fight. It was added fairly recently, but most important is that he drops and he drops that crossbow, and I fucking want that crossbow. So what he's going to do is he's going to fire, and then he's going to jump behind uh, cover to reload, and then he's going to come back out. Every time he shoots, his uh, his damage goes up by a little bit. This would be... That's the only skill, I guess. Uh, the other one's a skill, too. Whatever. Uh, okay, well, first off... Let's load you up with some shit. Okay, now you can move. <clears throat> no. Not passing up on the equipment this time. This is what I want. This is very good. This is quite good. Uh, I haven't been super... I haven't been super into this warbow. I should probably keep it... Simply for my... You know what? This might be a good idea. Just to have it... Just to have one more. I do want the sweep. Because I don't really have any. I don't have much AoE. I don't have any powder yet. Alright. Good to go. Fuck this guy. Um, I've only I've only done this a couple of times. I don't know if it's been changed anytime recently. Uh, he charges you. He 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 uh, uh, tries to extort like five hundred bucks out of you, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, in exchange for a weapon that will invariably turn out to be dog shit. Mentor will let us duplicate a card, which I don't think we have anything worth duplicating at this time. Maybe another invigorating blow. Not another wild brawl. Not another rear guard. Maybe this. Maybe this. Yeah. 
I'll take another one of those. That's fine. It's zero cost for uh, bait damage. Got plenty of money, and I'm not that concerned about the next recruitment event. So let's take a look at what we can do. Uh, hmm. Let's go for melee weapons. And axes and hammers, because I what I really want is for Kessel me to have a warhammer. And warhammers are not fucking available. God damn it. None of these. Pain in the ass. Sparring partner is good. It's going to cost some money. Uh, I'll use a little bit more. I'm going to increase Tarowin's stamina by one. Just so that he he has the ability to cast just maybe one more shift per round. Don't care, don't care. Try the combat. I I want to point out a couple of things. My my party looks very different than it has the last two times I have uh, recorded this. I have no I have no mice, and chances are not super high that I'll be adding one. I'm really honestly at this point aiming. Probably for a bear or a wolf from here. Anyone use some? You could use some. Okay. So. It's got a bunch of cards in it. Because this weasel has flow, so every time he casts one of these, ah, it's a bit of a shame. He's not going to be able to cast the last one. It was a gamble. I took a gamble. Didn't pay off. It's fine. It's not going to, it's really not going to, uh, uh, not going to hurt me. I need to fucking check something. That's a really cool effect. I get it. You need to reload before uh, you can... And it's 15 damage to Vitality. That's the thing that I wasn't prepared for. That's fucking great. That's fucking great, yo. Uh, 15 damage. He's just going to bleed out. Let's get him. It's coming in. down. Okay, we're all set. I can be a lot more cavalier with these guys' uh, stamina, simply because this weasel has flow. Shit in my hand is just going to... It, it's its uh, a bit of a dice roll, but it's shit in my hand. is just going to end up being zero cost. Oh, that's a shame. That's fine, because uh, he wasn't going to break through the armor anyway. One hundred damage is the max damage that they can receive on this particular challenge.
Come on. There we go. I don't want any of these. No, I don't want any of these. Crazy Weasel. Okay. Crazy Weasel is a great encounter. Aim for this fucking weird asshole. Let's get rid of one of the guards. Reserves! Fucking finally. Perfect. Okay. We passed up a reserves earlier, and I'm very glad to see that we've uh, got an opportunity to get another one. Magnificent Plate. Remember, as long as this guy has more than 60 armor, he cannot gain any bleed. So everybody else gets bleed first. objectively the weakest. Let's go ahead and there's no way you're getting to him, so I'll go ahead and just... Nope, you're gonna die. Okay, so what this does, what Poignard does, is uh, the next time uh, Idlegore draws his uh, primary weapon card, which is his scimitar, uh, that Poignard will come back into his hand. So once you've cast, once you cast it once, um, you just get an extra free five damage every time you cast your primary. doing some things basically just to make sure that I have space in my hand to cast these three. Yeah. He is now down to 44, so let's start giving him some bleeds. Go ahead and turn all of his uh, six fatigue into now 18 fucking, like, he could tank a tank right now. Oh, fucking... Damn it. Yeah, whatever. Even though we've got five guys, I'm not killing these guys anywhere nearly as quickly as I had been in the past. I don't have any mice. I don't have any red powder. I've also kind of, uh, I've closed the door on having mice in my party at this point, which is fine. We don't need them. Maybe that sharpened steel, because I do have a decent weapon damage card. Hmm. No. 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 It is a good card. Nope, nope. Yeah. Sharpened Steel is a good card. It is a good card, and it's it honestly would have been fine for me to pick up right then. Because I, I do have... I have at least one card that is uh, 13 weapon damage. That being said, it happens to be on someone who's... Uh, a lot of his actions are kind of already taken up. So 
let's go on ahead. Reduce some costs. Good. That's the one I wanted to be zero. Okay. So Fury Bomb is an interesting card. If dude is in the back rank, it will toss a... If you're in dude is in the front rank, it puts five poison on a rank. If you do it in the back, ra back rank, it puts a bomb on a rank, which doesn't do anything this round, but on their next round, it will burst into 10 damage. So not their next... Not on their next turn, but on the turn after, they will start taking damage. And not a small amount of damage. It's 10 per. So having Sulfuric Bomb is a... Uh, uh, that is a definite step towards us possibly leaning a little bit heavily into poisons. Potentially. Ah, I did not count the cards. I wasted one. You notice I had just too many cards in my hand. So um, when I called in my uh, when I when I pulled shivs into my hand, I only got two because I didn't have the space. It's okay. I'll live. It's not good. Good. Okay. So that's one down. This card I can get rid of now that I have his thing. Honestly, I probably should have saved that for when I had a lot of cards in my hand. Sometimes I just don't think. A lot of incidental damage they're going to start taking. Or dot damage, actually. At this point, it's no longer incidental. That's fine. Anybody need any health? Nope. You better get some decent cards, buddy. I'm beginning to regret having taken you. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go Kilderkin. Then we're going to go to the League. No, Kilderkin off... We may be skipping the off-duty guards. We'll see. Once again, Red Powder. Finally fucking Red Powder. Oh, it just discarded everything for me. Alright, all right, then. Alright. 
Voices in the Dark. Let's get some... Uh... Let's get some shit. I know that at least one of my guys, it's him, he has it. Which means he's going to be able to immediately use the weapon these guys drop, which I am happy about. It's a very strong weapon. So to start off with... Come on. There we go. about that, but my bunny can clear that. Not currently, but he can clear it. Uh, just a little bit more, but I'm not going to waste it there. Should have done this first. That was dumb. Uh, 10, 25. He's going to die. He's going to take a sweep. And he is also going to die. Okay. I don't need another Akimbo. I want this very, very much. That's mine. Uh, your weapon sucks. I'm going to give it to you. You can fuck around with this club. We don't really need one of these. This is... It, it's, the, it's the same effect that, that uh, uh, Idlegore has, which uh, converts... Which is a... Uh, um, converting bleed directly into vitality, which is great. But the problem is that it's armor, and I, I kind of need that slot for, you know armor. Yeah, we're good. Okay. I'm pretty sure the Vagrant just gives us a card. I'm gonna go combat black market. I can skip the black market in a pinch. There's a, uh, there's one thing in particular that is there that I want. Potentially. Oh no, when did he get superior medium? That's a mistake. I'm gonna have to do something about that. He needs another, I was, he needs another uh, stamina quickly then. I'm gonna have to go back and review to see where exactly this happened. I was reasonably certain that he had uh, superior light. So I, I may have fucked up at some point there.
Okay. Oh no, he does. He has naturally three. It's because I've been casting Wild Brawl. Okay, that makes sense then. Actually, we're going to cast Wild Brawl again right now. Next turn, bye. Sorry, that was awkward. Luckily, you're dead. Otherwise, I, I'd be really embarrassed about that. Uh, instinct. This is the time to draw instinct, yes. Hey, look at that. I was just talking about this. Perfect. All right. Uh, Hesselthwaite, I'm happy I have you because you are frontline for life. You actually, this is great too, because this is going to turn his uh, uh, five armor gain into 10 armor gain per round. That honestly means I don't ever need to upgrade him from uh, uh, regular heavy armor to superior. He can keep that extra stamina. Okay. So let's see what you got, Kesselmead. Oh, you've got good things. You may go into the front. You're going to end up going into the front. This is going to be a front row bunny. This is a front row rabbit. Absolutely. Okay. That means I might be able to pick up a... I might be able to pick up another weasel, weasel or a mouse. Impervious. Whenever this character gains any armor, he gains five additional armor. Steadfast as the armor that he's currently wearing, every round he gains eight armor. Which means, instead, he's gaining 13 armor per round. 13? Am I doing math? I am mathing. Uh, 13 armor per round. It's, it's, and then, anytime I have cards that put armor, he just gains armor very quickly without having to have uh, uh, heavy armor. I can put him in the front basically at will at this point. Okay. That's good. Don't need heal. Eh. Combat is nice, but I want to see. All right, so... We're not going to swap talents. We're going to spend some money and try to get some tokens. Oh, good. Wow, okay. All three of these are good. All three of these are very good. So, first off, something that we're going to be casting every time. That'll have a draw card. Something that we want to be very impactful. Red Powder now does some bleed on everyone it hits, mind you. And this Invigorating Blow will have some free health. It's a very, very good... Uh, it's very excellent value for the money I just spent. Don't care about the light foots. Let's check out this final combat. skills would I be getting? Would I be getting rid of any skills? Oh, yes, all of them. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Alright, so, instinct. Let's see what talents are in the draw pile coming up. So, Fear Bomb, which I'm into. Attrition and Nefarious. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, I forgot to put it on... <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Fuck! I forgot to put it on one of the guys that uh, uh, could actually draw that uh, that talent. I just sort of threw it at nothing. <laughs> All right. Uh, I can throw another brace of that. This will probably... There we go. That's what I want to see. Since dead. Anyone use a top up? No one needs a top up. Hmm. 
none of these. I didn't even bother with yellow powder. Motherfuck. The very literal last possible encounter. <laughs> Alright, so let's go through our two easy combats. Oh, uh, please note, by the way, he starts with 60, you see, because it's every time the, the character receives armor, uh, armor from their armor, which means that first burst of armor that they get on uh, turn one for just wearing the armor, that's also doubled. So he's just a fucking wall. He is a solid fucking wall. Okay, I'm going to do this first so that I can have a wide range of cards to be flowing. Yeah, why don't you go ahead with this? Perfect. I actually don't want too much preparation in this particular deck because I have two weasels. So I don't want to I don't want to choke myself with card draw for those first rounds of the game. Yeah, fine. Two sulfuric bombs is not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm going to go ahead with another will, and uh, from now on, I'm pretty sure he's going to be uh, stacking stamina. I'm reasonably certain. We burn that bridge when we get to it. Okay. So what I'm doing is I, I'm uh, I'm trying to dole out my casts of uh, of, of my shivs because each one is dropping the cost of a card in my hand to zero. So I uh, I don't want to play one of the zero cost shivs while I still have shivs that cost because there is a chance that the zero cost shiv will make the one cost shiv into a zero cost card, which I don't honestly want. I want the other cards, which can potentially be more expensive to cost nothing. Weasel with Flow gives us a tremendous amount of options. We can... I, I can have cards in my hand that otherwise are just too fucking expensive to even think about. I don't like that you have any. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. That is everyone dead. So... Second wind is great. I'm going to take that. All right. I cannot... Uh, I want to point out, I want to, I want to kind of uh, put a flashlight on the way that I've been playing my initial rounds when Terrawind still has his will. I am trying to dole it out that I get the best possible effect of flow as, po as, as, as is available. I want to have as many cards, particularly expensive cards, down to zero. I want to have, as I have said, you want to take as many actions per round, obviously. And uh, a weasel with flow is how you get just... A stupid amount of actions. Uh, either of these would be nice. Bloodthirsty is not going to be super, super valuable because he's a beaver. He's not really going to be casting most of my damaging cards. And most of my guys are honestly getting... Most enemies are being killed with bleed, which I don't believe triggers Bloodthirsty. Absolute unit, on the other hand. <laughs> Anytime this dude takes a heal, his vitality comes up to maximum. So he, my front line is just this... Fucking impossibly giant wall. And he's got quite a... He's got a, a very solid amount of actions, and I'm not worried about giving him any more will because I have another beaver who has two will. So if I start... If if I lose... If I lose my, uh, my barricades, I, I can just whip out another one. All right. Uh, let's see if there's anyone here worth putting into that last spot. I did want a wolf. No. Oh. Fuck you for actually having good cards. I'm not taking another rabbit. Okay, this is the one I'm taking. I am taking Thus Under, and he's going in the back. <sighs> Shit. Or I'm taking this asshole. Mm. Quarterstaff is a great fucking card. This is a great fucking card. It is... It, it's... It's... Okay. <clears throat> Let me back up. There are two weapon cards in the game that allow you, that give you, uh, it's not even the same ability as, uh, as, as kick. This is, quarterstaff is, uh, is CC. When you hit the dude, you can move that target to any position that you, that you want to. Notice it says move, swap, move slash swap. You can swap his position with someone else so that someone who has a bunch of bleed, but is not acting this turn can swap into that rank and take that bleed damage this round while that guy doesn't get to act. He's also got cornered, which is great for a bear. But he's it also would mean that he is that he's for, well, it's great for a bear if I can if I can have cornered in the same in the same hand as running on fumes. Cornered is a great card. Otherwise, because I'm not planning on putting him into the front round, it's not a great card. I want this quarter staff. This is the best thing that is on this bear. This wolf has everything I want. Overhaul is a really interesting, it's a really, really interesting card that absolutely fucks, completely fucks some late encounters that include a lot of, uh, of uh, fortification, whatever it is, where one of them can hide behind the other one. You can't hit the guy in the back because as long as there's a guy in the front, this completely trivializes that. And concentration is okay. It's a, it's four cards, but it also adds on pacified. His spear is an amazing card, and then he has this spirited. Whenever this character uses a wielded card that isn't their own, the original wielder gains one will. Thaw Sunder can give his will to other characters. That's how that works. He spends a will, he casts the card, and it gives that will to another character. And I have a weasel with flow, so we're taking Thaw Sunder. Thosunder is going to be in the back. Castle Mead is now in the front. Uh, superior medium, steadfast. Okay. Both of my guys in the back. I have one light, two superior mediums. His steadfast is going to be fine. It's, it's going to be fine. He's going to start off a little bit slow, but he can gain armor very, very quickly. So I do need to keep around a couple of guards just to make sure that he stays okay. Uh, I also, I also, uh, he, he has, uh, uh, I forget what the fuck it is called already. He has, where is this? Strange Mist. So he is basically acting as, he's, he's my, uh, my, my cleric currently. 
Hey, it's Grit Salt. Grit Salt ain't shit. It'd be funny, but it wouldn't be necessary. I can yank. Uh, I could, I could cast this on him, yank the back to the front, and uh, uh, just completely waste all three of these rounds right now. These uh, uh, actions right now, but it, and it's not really necessary. I have twelve damage in coming to Castlemead, and I don't have any armor in my hand. Castlemead, what do you got? Uh, you know what? I need to get rid of Well Rested. It is it is just not a good card anymore. Ever since now that I mean, with him, it's not a good card, and I need to uh, I need to, to swap their places in case in case I pick up a uh, uh, thingy. Uh, yeah, a thingy. Double team. That's the word I was looking. For. Shit! I did not count the cards. It's fine. It's not fine. It is most decidedly not fine. It was a gamble and it paid off. I cannot fucking believe that paid off. That absolutely should not have. That was great. <laughs> I got a lot of extra actions right there that I definitely should not have. Sometimes the dice just sort of roll in your favor. Good. Okay. You are now at a decent amount. Okay, we're all set. The whole front rank now has 20 poison, by the way. Vigor, right away, so that now... Oh, no, he's the one who has the nefarious out. Ah! It's fine, I'll use it on something else. Three. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take a bit of a gamble. my last one. So, I'm gonna have him toss, uh... So he casts it instead. He doesn't It doesn't get the effect of uh, Zero got a card, but it does have the effect of handing that will over to my fucking weasel. You're a good boy, Thos Sunder. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Gritzel dies this round. I really do feel that some of the uh, the early bosses and one of the late bosses are just really kind of undertuned. This is one of my very favorite games. It's, uh, I have put, as I've pointed out, a tremendous amount of uh, time and effort into it. My biggest problem with it is that once you get over that learning curve, the game itself is honestly not that hard. The choices that you're making are not super complicated. You, you, when you get the hang of it, you really fucking, you really get the, the get the fucking hang of it. I remember having a lot of problems even with just the warden. I remember getting to him and just dying every time. But then I learned that. He, he is extremely predictable. The first thing he does is jump to the back. The second thing he does is pull your back to the front. So the only thing you you just need to 
you need to plan for the fact that your back row is going to be taking damage. Oh, here's another thing Overhaul can do. Now neither of them can act. Look at that! Double team. Look at that. That was the whatever I was talking about. Okay. Kesselmead now has a Soldier's Heirloom. Uh, we're going to put Kesselmead Steadfast on uh, Thosunder in the back. And Survivalist Gear are going on Idlegore. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. Getting the luck that I am not having with certain other cards that I have been, or encounters that I have been specifically looking for, I am absolutely having in armor. My armor is great. Uh, so let's see. Almost. Okay. I'm going to give it to the wolf, because I want him to have his second passive. Fingers crossed. Okay, born leader, absolutely. I don't get honorable. I don't understand it. I'm sure that there is some card that it combos with. Whenever you break an opponent's armor, you apply one armor to that opponent. I don't understand why. I'm sure there's a reason. Don't give a shit about that middle list, but I do give a shit about this born leader. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you another will that you can pass on to Moweasel. What I need right now is for one of my weasels to pick up Sharp. I'll show you what I mean if it comes up. That's that's really that's really what I'm that's what I need right now. I need Sharp. So, here's what just happened. Um, where is this? Uh, overwhelm, 75% additional damage. Invigorating Blow, deal 8 damage if the final damage dealt is 13 or more, gain 2 stamina, and 4 restoration. So, I threw Overwhelm on them, I have my Weasel with Flow, hit him with Invigorating Blow, and now, hey, look at this! I can throw out a couple more ships. Get a squeeze a few more actions out of this round. Is this round one? Yeah, that was round one. <laughs> this, by the way, is very satisfying. I don't like these spearmen. They are those. These guys and the lancers are my least favorite mobs in this game. I'll take a second win. A second, second win. Gonna take courage, then guard a transport. Speaking into a bottle of water. Yeah, okay. That's perfect. I'll take that. 10 damage for a uh, stamina on my fucking weasel with flow. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I could be really greedy and give him another one. Oh, 
okay with it. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah, Strength of Will is an amazing card. Draw three cards, discard up to three cards. You don't need to actually discard any of the cards. For each card that you discard, all of your entire team, not yourself, all of your allies gain two strength. So it's a decent, it's card draw, it's card cycle, and it's a little bit of a, it's a small source of, it's a small source of strength. I am going to give you a stamina this time. We're passing up on the potential, the experience from the guarded transport. But the big thing, from the big, the big reward from the guarded transport is six hundred bucks. I'm about to get three hundred right here, and I don't need to. I can't recruit anyone else. So the money that I'm picking up right now, perfect. We're going to go intelligence, then armory reserves. Oh, that's awesome! Look at that. That's great. Uh. I don't really need another you shall not pass. Um, we're not using barricades anymore. So let's go ahead and forfeit that. Yes, that's actually quite good for him, isn't it? I'm going to give him... He now has six. He's got six stamina with his with light armor on. Which means he is able to cast... He is guaranteed able to cast and to uh, uh, produce and cast six shivs per round. So I'm going to give him another will. We are leaning really, really heavily into his flow. Something good, something good, something good. No, fuck. It's too bad. Uh, eh, gambler is really, really strong. Fundamentalist is something I wish we had when we fucking started this run. I'm going to take Gambler. And I... I'm going to start working towards your uh, second brace of uh, shivs. Okay. You already have You Shall Not Pass. No, you don't. You don't. Okay. <sighs> A-Maker is a really, really weird card. You hit a dude, and then you move them twice. It costs three. And he... Duh. He has he has exactly enough to cast it. I'm going to go for You Shall Not Pass instead, so that each of them has one. And they both banish, so it's fine. Uh, you know something? They are guaranteed to have... They are they are guaranteed to have uh, uh, bleed. So you know what? This is a really, really tempting card. This is a tempting card. Because it's a huge amount of card draw in exchange for a ruin. But again, not again, but uh, 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 take note. You don't actually need to have a card in your hand to ruin. Uh, it, these are two separate effects. First you ruin a card, next you draw a card for each status effect on a target opponent. It's two separate things. You don't actually... If So if the Sadist Cunning is the last card in your hand, you don't need to ruin anything. You just get the card draw. At the same time, this is really funny. And I have... Basically never cast it because I never have a fucking I never have a fucking rabbit. Uh, I wanna I wanna see exactly how much we don't have well actually I do, don't I? Thawsunder has some very good move. Alright, let's give that a shot. Uh soldier's heirloom. I'm gonna keep steadfast in reserve. So Soldier's Heirloom begins with twelve uh, with twelve bolster. This ticks down per round, which means that at the longer the fight goes, the less armor he is uh, he is bringing on. He's bringing on a huge amount of armor very like right away. He's bringing on a huge amount of armor. It's twelve. It's twelve and eleven, then ten, then whatever. He has no. He does not have that thing. That's fine. It's a bunch of armor. I'm going to keep steadfast in reserve as a just in case. Scoundrel's cloak is really tempting, and I'm going to keep that in reserves as well. I don't care about that warbow. Tarawin has, yeah. Tarawin has, uh. Okay. So, a couple things.
Okay. Uh, I don't have enough. I need to. I need to dump at least one card. At least one. Yeah. There we go. I want to see how this fucking works. So, uh, sixteen cripple. If enemy has bleed. The reason why I just spread this around, I've never I've never cast this card before. I don't use rabbits, and I don't really fuck around with cripple at all. However, uh, my wolf does have a card that swaps the entire team, which is potentially, uh, if there are, unless they have an entrench effect that prevents them from being moved, everyone in the team will be taking that damage. So that might be really fucking worth it. So here's the question. Does this, is if enemy has uh, 16 cripple is that if any of the enemies have have bleed they'll get 16 cripple or is that 16 cripple for each enemy with bleed let's find out no okay that would have been much cooler <laughs> also very very easy very very eminently breakable so yeah probably not but still it was worth a thought uh yeah fucking pacify Oh, I should have checked to see what these guys were doing, because these halberdiers are actually serious business. Not great. Not great. But, uh, that... That, uh... That bleed turns into health right away. And somewhere in my deck I do have a nuke heal. So I'm not super concerned about that. But I, it's, it's definitely not something that I can continue ignoring. Like an idiot. I'm going to use that for the armor, which probably wasn't necessary because now you're at max. Okay, they're both sweeping the front. Castle needs already up to 60. Good boy. Okay. So you'll just die. Let's get you the fuck down too, because I don't like you. I really don't. Like, for real, I do not. I think they're very well designed, but I hate them. talents. Perfect. Perfect. Maybe perfect. Let's see. I want to get rid of concentration. I don't like that. I don't... I don't like pacify. Makes me upset. Especially in, now, in, especially in, a, in a deck where uh, him being at zero stamina doesn't necessarily mean that he can't take further action. So let's get rid of that. And... Uh, What do I have that banishes? No. Actually, maybe, because then, uh, uh, then my weasel with flow can constantly get his shit back. We still have, I have plenty of uh, abilities that are doing that. I am very tempted by this, though. Specifically for that reason, that, that, uh, it's actually valuable to have, uh, my flow weasel's shivs come back into his hand. This might be a really bad idea. I am really tempted. I'm gonna try it. I've never I don't usually take that card because it can get very messy and generally speaking, cards that uh cards that discard, I, I cards that banish, I want them to banish. I don't necessarily want them forever. But it is uh it's 
actually kind of in Terrawind. I, I, I'm doing everything I can to make sure that Terrawind has all of the shivs in the fucking world. But the late game, the late game encounters, especially the the boss encounters, can possibly still exhaust that. Eh, whatever. Uh, we're gonna go to the weapon merchant, then we're gonna go to the loot. I'm going to look over ranged weapons. I need one more ranged weapon. Perfect. That crossbow is good. I don't particularly care about the longbow. Warbow, I don't give a shit about. Who gets it? Uh, Hesselthwaite. Yeah, I'm going to leave it on Hesselthwaite. Because it only costs one... He uh, uh, he has very low stamina, it, uh, especially after his heavy armor. He uh, it only costs one, and it's much less if he gets pacified because his uh, uh, his job is to be a meat shield. So it's it's less of a whole thing. Do I still want to keep this fucking poignard? Yeah, I do. All right, fuck it. Come on. And actually, with that, we don't necessarily need that loot, so let's check out what this hidden gem is. Oh, hey. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Alright, there's our escape. Going after it immediately instead of drawing it out, because again, the cards that are out there, one of them is a juggler, which I don't give a shit about, it's just a vendor. The other one is a combat, which is, I mean... The experience is good, the money is good, but there could be something more valuable underneath it, and then I would have no choice but to pass it up. We did not pick up any additional chains, but my deck is much, much leaner than uh, it has been in any of the other uh, recordings that I've made so far. Um... Shit. I am killing things a bit slower. Well, let's see. Hmm. I don't want to discard any of these. I'm gonna. Okay. Let's fuck.
Yeah, you know what? I may. Mm, it is going to end up. Uh, it is going to end up cluttering up my deck. So I need to be real, real careful about how I use this this uh, this card. But at least, the, at the very least, I do have several ways of discarding it if I uh, if I want to stop. Uh, he was gonna die anyway, but fuck it. discard any of these. Actually, I could have discarded double team. I don't have any mice, so it's it's not the the most valuable card. <laughs> that is actually pretty cool. Okay, Kessel. I take it back. That's pretty cool. Anything? Nope, you have nothing. Nah. I forgot. I forgot he had that. Oh, how delightful. How very, very lovely. I forgot he fucking had Born Leader. That is a great, that is a great sudden surprise. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> More actions. That's great. This spawns this as a talent. That's another card that he can play to uh, drop the cost of something in my hand. Ha ha ha! How fucking good. So, um... Weasel, as I have said in the past, Weasel is a very strong class that starts off very strong and generally remains the same kind of plateaus. They increase in power. It's not linear, but um, it's it's like they say, uh, uh, what the fuck is it? Linear, linear warriors, quadratic wizards. Mice are basically wizards in that analogy, whereas Weasels are more like warriors. They, uh, uh, they're they're in. Their increase in effectiveness basically just goes like this, whereas mice just goes whoop. Um, <clears throat> weasels are much more dependent on their passives than mice. Mice are very mice can have some great passives, but mice really, really rely very heavily on their talents in order for them to become very strong. Whereas a lot of Weasel's talents are, they're, I'm not going to say that they're bad or anything. I mean, they're, they, they have a lot of really, really solid, they have a lot of really solid talents, but at the same time. Okay, I see the fucking value in that. That was great. That was great. <laughs> what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh, yes. Weasel with flow. So, him having flow and practiced, especially this early on, that makes him... He's hes absolutely the linchpin of my team. A very strong front line, and he is just making everything incredibly cheap so that everyone just has lots and lots of actions. This is also going to be especially useful. Yeah, wow, I'm definitely keeping this in my deck. That's that that's great. That's great. This coming back up like that. Mm. My biggest concern is, uh, I'm not discarding anything. My biggest, biggest concern, however, is that uh, the longer fights go on, the more difficulty uh, I'm 
Actually, no, I literally just went through how that's that's not really any longer a problem. Never mind. I do, however, need to get this last fucking uh, chain in my hand so that I can goddamn leave. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna cast this on nothing to uh, get the uh, the poignard effect. Wow. Okay. I am very glad I have that. That's a very good card. In this very specific circumstance, that card turns out to be fucking awesome. Okay. <laughs> Where the fuck are the chains? I did not pick up any chains on the way in here, and it is really, really showing. Oh my god, the difference just two additional chains makes. <laughs> I just want to point out this this oh I've been stuck in this fucking event for almost 10 times as long as it's taken me to uh, 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 fuck the prince the last two times Now, look at this. Look how many fucking chains I get now. God damn it. None of these. Okay. Uh, big money, no whammies. No. Yeah, that's fine. With the start of the turn of this character is more than 75% vitality. They gain one stamina. This motherfucker doesn't really take a lot of damage. And also, I have heals. So, he'll always have a little extra stamina. That's great. Not really. That's pretty good. Whenever you draw an additional card, gain uh, two strength. I, I happen to have quite a bit of card draw. I'm going to add one extra will specifically so that he can cast his heal twice. Catacombs. Catacombs can go fuck itself. Don't click on this even by accident. Shortcut the street means you just go straight to the boss. There are uh, as many as fourteen additional encounters. Uh, that's a lot of that's a lot of time for uh, experience and levels. I, I can't think of any circumstance why you would want to skip over all that, unless maybe you were bored and in a hurry. Let's get a crossbow for now. Uh, okay. Start.
Okay. All right. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can leave him alone. He'll get killed either by uh, uh, this or uh, incidental, excuse me, incidental damage later. Um, or just right now, like this. Yeah, that'll also do. Kesselmead has 40 strength. Do I have anything for Kesselmead to fucking cast? What can I get into Kesselmead's hand for him to cast? Red powder would be nice. Do I have any? I have no multi strikes. Akimbo. I have Akimbo. Or great sword. Okay, I need to change his weapons. Kesselmead has 40 strength. Did I mention? Have I mentioned that Kesselmead has 40 fucking strength? I don't want to take that gamble. Uh, he has the least, so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh... Alright. Actually, I could have had uh, uh, Thosunder throw the poison on the front rank and give him, uh, give Tarawin an extra. That's eh, fine. Kesselmead has 54 strength. Kesselmead, what the fuck do I have for you to throw? Oh my god, what do I have? Holy shit, I need to completely rethink everything. Kesselmead needs... Kesselmead needs uh, uh, some better guns, like stat. Oh, hey. Fine, whatever. I don't like these guys. They throw uh, Overwatch. These guys are going to plink away at my front line. I'm alright with that. He's also got... Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Sorry, just taking a little brain vacation, which I'm trying to work out how... What is... I have so much card draw that Kesselmead's... Uh, Kesselmead's... Uh, Ardent is just giving him uh, quite surprising amounts of... Of, uh, <laughs> of... Of strength very, very quickly. I need better things for Kesselmead to throw. Uh, poignard? Not poignard. What the fuck is it? The uh, Rondel Dagger. The one that uh, uh, hits twice. Uh, six by two. I want him to have that. And <clears throat> Probably also Yanning's uh, Scimitar for the uh, Akimbo. You're just gonna die, so you fuck yourself. Oh shit, he's got this. Which deals damage to a fucking rank. Huh. I take it all back, Kesselmead. You're all right. Uh, anybody need health? Nobody. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, god damn it. Whatever. And that's everybody. Anyone need any health? Nope. We're all set. We're all set. talk about wound this is an effect that sounds like it's going to be awesome and honestly really in theory it is characters bleed no longer ticks down bleed that he has is now permanent however i've found that once you start working on people when you if you're layering a huge amount of, of no no i don't know i'm about to say a bunch of things but honestly mathematically ter terrible wound is probably the best idea and it's probably the best idea for my specific party It just never feels, it never feels as impactful as it probably should, but whatever. Objectively, it's a very strong effect. Mathematically, it does a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, I don't want to get rid of any of these. I'll do the rear guard. I'll cast it anyway, just... Oh, no, this doesn't... Dis okay. Yeah, never mind. That is one downside. It is interfering. The uh, uh, the unplayable card is interfering with... Uh, with uh, a Born Commander. Or born Leader? Born Commander? This one. Born Leader. So that is potentially a, an issue. But I do have... it's. Born Leader is not my, by far, my only f source of card draw, so I'm not, I'm not too concerned. Just want give me a rake. Give me a fucking rake. <sighs> Asshole. Zero the rake. It's gonna be funny. There we go. Okay. See, look, 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 look. Cause he's about to jump to the front and it's gonna fucking kill him. Do you get it? No? Uh too smart for the room. Look, see? Oh no, he died from the bleed anyway. It took forever for me to zero out the fucking rig. Uh, again, this is something that I never fucking learned. Every time I try to do anything that is like slick or would be like visually arresting or interesting, I immediately fall flat on my face and stomp on my balls at the same time. I don't learn. That's actually not a bad idea. Don't need, I don't need fundamentalist. I don't need fundamentalist at all. Not this, not at this point in the game. I'm gonna go ahead and get this this time. And I'll do one more will so I can have one more will to give to my uh, weasel. No one needs a heal. I'm gonna take your last bottle of heal and I'm gonna put it on nobody.
Okay, slightly stronger fight. A little comfortable. Okay. I don't want to discard any of these. I do have a little bit of card draw right away. Okay. Don't like that. So 20 damage going to this rank, you are going to be putting on uh, 17. All right, I'm all right with three damage. Only 12, what the fuck? Oh, God damn it! why the fuck do I keep thinking he's the one who has, ah, oh, I'm an idiot. All right, all right, whatever, whatever. I keep on thinking that he's the one who has uh, this, the, I have two characters, one with second skin and one with impervious, and the wolf is not either of those characters, and I keep forgetting that. Like, just consistently. Okay, uh, why don't you start repairing some of that? Why don't you... I don't need that. I may cast it anyway to trigger the born leader, we'll see. I'm not going to because it's not worth it's it's not worth also casting the well rested. A card which, uh, by the way, I am, I am, really looking forward to dumping. I picked it up very early on because uh, <clears throat> I, I was taking some very big swings and I was concerned that I was going to need to have better. Uh, I was going after. Uh, uh, I noticed that uh, right away. I'm going after. Uh, uh, encounters that were probably too much for me simply because I had, I started with the beaver and the weasel. So I took well rested so that I would have some way of uh, topping off or keeping up my front rank uh, and then it turned out never to be necessary. So check this out. One of these guys puts these three injuries in my uh, hand. These count as curses. You don't need to play them, but they are taking up card draw. Uh, and this guy right here immediately converts all bleed into health. So he just basically, he is my poison eater. He just, he eats the death and it goes away. I'm just watching his his strength slowly increase. Of course, I can't actually use any of the shit in his hand. That's fine. It's fine. Oh, I didn't check to see what he was hitting. No, it doesn't matter. It's just a strike move. I already have enough zero cost cards. Uh, do I want a halberd? I kind of want a halberd. It's 
the same damage. It has uh, additional effects, and it's it's basically going to apply the additional six uh, uh, purple. And because I have a weasel with flow, I am probably going to be, I, I will often be able to use it without... Uh, fingers crossed, we want to see sharp. And we don't see sharp. Fuck. Okay. None of these are any good. Yeah. I could, I could take this. I could swap the bleed dagger onto him, and I could use it to uh, constantly apply small amounts of bleed, so that he always has will. He does not apply poison directly. The poison goes on afterward because of the thing. You know what? I'm going to take this. I'm going to, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. Uh, I had to give him additional stamina. <laughs> All right. So check this shit out. I am going to swap all of their stuff. Idlegore is immune to bleed. However, Tarawin now actively gains will every time he takes damage from bleed. And I have uh, a means of I can I can put I can put I can push a safety button and make it all stop. I'm gonna do this. That's a thing I'm gonna do. Okay, uh, we're gonna do Augur and then Garda Transport. Uh, where is it? Okay, it is a skill. Good. Just wanted to make sure. Okay! Uh, feel a little better. Neither of these are any good. So we'll go after that garden transport. Elite combat for 600 bucks. Did. It it just consumed the I'm I'm don't listen to me. I thought that it might have consumed the I was concerned for a second that it consumed the vigor, but it didn't. It it consumed the uh the force strength. That's not a big deal. Okay. So let's start fucking these guys. Nothing. It did not apply. Uh, it did not apply cripple to anyone. So I need to change that. <laughs> You're gonna die. Yeah, uh, having said all of that, I'm going to go back on what I uh, originally said. Having um, Thinking about it, I really don't think that uh, uh, Deep Wound was uh, a good thing. I almost never take it simply because it always feels very underwhelming. Uh, this terrible wound. It, oh, the, the wound effect feels very underwhelming, mostly because things just don't live that long. I, I'm not sure what I was thinking when I picked it up, but it's fine. It's not going to hurt me, and I can 
hopefully get rid of it later. And if I can't get rid of it, that's okay. I do have some discard. But it uh, it's 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 an iffy card because on paper it's great, especially for this team, and it is going to be doing some work for me. But uh, ultimately. So what's our first thing? Testing this out. I just want you to keep getting fucking will forever. Yeah, see, it's not really necessary. They just die too quickly. I mean, it's not. It only costs one, but it is. it is picking up a slot for any card draw that I have. Eh, it is what it is. Fuck it. I do need to remember that I am putting on a not insignificant amount of uh, bleed every round. And well, not every round. Every time I cast that spell. Nope. And nope. I don't need more than one bolster. I mean, uh, soldier's heirloom, I should say. Bit underwhelming. I love you, Kesselmeet. I want you to know that. You're a good boy. And I know I said that uh, uh, a lot of unkind things about rabbits, but I want you to know that that's just because I am... I'm racist against rabbits. It's really just what it is. There's no other way around it. I prejudge rabbits every time I see them. I'm like, oh, that's a rabbit. He is not going to be any good. And... It's, it's really my fault. We've all learned a valuable lesson today. I want that equilibrium now that uh, uh, Kesselmead is fucking killing some shit. Let's see what you're... No. No. I'm forfeiting this one. I don't want another Sulfuric Bomb. Uh, Warrior's Defense is... It's not a bad idea, I guess. But it's, it's, it's just... No. No. It's no. It is... What it is, is no.
Good. All three. I'm honestly kind of excited to, to, to see the prince right now. Not just cast. Hold on one second. I did just cast Rake. If the enemy has. He had bleed. Did he not have bleed? Is it because he survived? Can they not survive? I never used that skill. I don't know the nuances. Okay, that discard, that's extra discard is good. And I fucking pacified you, didn't I? Son of a bitch. Very, very stupid. Very stupid. Uh, but that's okay, because I can still use your... Still use your stamina for this here wild boy. That is just gonna do a stupid, stupid amount of damage to their whole rank. Look at that. I forgot I need to take this off. I'm, uh, I am going to finish it because I don't want to risk taking another uh, hit of damage off of uh, Terrawinds. Oops, wrong button. No, no, I have enough draw. I have enough discard and draw, I should say. Armory reserves is where I'm going. Uh, so first off, no good. Have it apply a little bit more. Purple, that's fine. Uh. It's going to be my last opportunity to get any experience. Let's see what our boys have. Yanning needs the elite. Tarawin is not good. Tarawin and Idlegor are not going to level up. Uh, it is not going to either. I wonder if the number... I wonder if the amount of guys in your party impacts the amount of experience you gain. We'll have to experiment with that. I'm going to do the combat thing in the army reserve.
saving three of those is good. Saving more, I think, is uh, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to choke my deck. I don't want to choke my deck with ships. Also, keep some of that health back. You're gonna die. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have. I cast both. I can cast both. Oh. Hmm. That's fine. I have more heals if I need them. I am taking some damage off of this, though. Not a huge amount. <clears throat> and I am fucking these clippers up. Which is good, because they suck. You know what? Yeah, no, definitely. I definitely am. Yes. Rank with some bleed, just a little bleed. Damn it, I got two. Meat has 52 strength. I probably, if I'd thrown that at the uh, the halberdiers in the back, they'd both be dead this round. But. Uh... I, I, it's been a while since I have had this, like this little, this few uh, red powder, this little red powder, this not enough red powder, this fucking dearth of red powder. Uh, who, which of these two? actually.
I do have quite a. I have I have the ability to throw around quite a bit of crippled, but I don't think it's it's that's sixteen damage uh, under most circumstances. It doesn't seem like a lot or uh, enough. Okay, so I roll the dice on there not being more valuable cards under those uh, combats, and there were not. This is our last chance. Um. I really could. I really, really could. Especially, especially for that multi-strike. I think that's wise. I think that's what I'm absolutely doing, too. The multi-strike is going to be better than the, the sweep, I think. I do regret not having picked up a second akimbo, but at least, at least it's, uh... At least I have one. Double team probably wasn't that necessary. Uh, I'm gonna swap these guys' position so that uh, uh, they can have. No, honestly, uh, on on none of them is it really coming in that handy. Which is, I mean, it's fine. Uh, I picked it up because I do have guy. Uh, Anyway. Ah, uh, that wasn't worth it. That's the reason, by the way, why uh, uh, I, I'll often put off picking up Instinct until much, much later. It's very good at early game, and it's good to have around, but it's it's because it's a bit of a crapshoot which talent is going to come up. Oh no, I shouldn't have. Shit. Now the... No, uh, whatever. That was a mistake, is what that was. Uh, uh, throwing out three of his, his, no, his don't have flow attached to them, and now they're in my draw pile. A misplay. Not a terrible, not a terrible misplay, but a, uh, but an absolutely a misplay. This, however, is uh, a, a, a rabbit pretending to be a fucking mouse. I love you, Kessel Meat. I want you to know that. Hey, buddy. You wanna come up? Come on up, buddy. I have clear space if you want up. Everybody, this is Nemo again. Welcome back, Nemo. You gonna bring me luck, buddy? Is that what you're here for? I have a large white tabby cat 
just flopping around on my lap like a tuna, staring up at me and purring. I know it's not because he's hungry, because I fed him earlier. He a good boy, and I love him. Good boy. Yeah. I know he's going to die, but fuck it. There we are. None of these. Really none of these. All right. So, uh, there's no, it's not necessary to go to the tavern. A monastery is also not necessary. And, uh, Okay, I'm into it. Definitely take another reserves. Do I really want a pink powder? I don't know if I want the pink powder, but I do want the second akimbo. Uh... Yeah, I'll take a fucking pink. I'll, I'll take a pink powder. Because I don't think I have one. All right. It is time for the warden. Let's see if we have what it takes to fucking kill him. Okay. So this guy back here, he's gonna del he's going to banish the first thing that I play. So I'm gonna play something that already banishes. interesting that I already have this. I don't think it's going to work on the, the Warden, because this guy can't be moved. Uh, so I think that the Warden is going to stay in the front, but if I do this, the, these two guys will come. These two guys will come to the front, and I kind of would prefer that they stay in the back and not act this round because they attack lanes. Alright, well, let's get started. God damn it. You know what? Let's let's run with the assumption that that is what exact that, that that is exactly what is going to happen, and that's what we want to have happen. Oh, I see. They only get the crippled if they have bleed. Ah, okay. I probably should have figured that out way way sooner. Uh, let's clear out a few more of these. No! Oh, that was a mistake. Ah, uh, I did not mean to cast that on him. Uh, that is going to be a bit of a fly in our ointment. Let's see what that does. Remember, all these guys in the front row have Magnificent Plate. They will not be taking any bleeds until their uh, armor is down to at least 60. What could I still do? Don't need Strange Mist right now. Yeah, okay. Okay, he's nearly fucked.
both. Start getting some bleed on you. I wanted some armor on the back rank. I also wanted to uh, have a little bit more card draw. Just give me a few more fucking cards. Oh, he had no other... Okay, I see. Uh, he didn't have any other talents in the draw pile, so there was nothing he could play. A little bit more. Who don't we like? How about you? He's got this other scimitar. He does, but he's... Drag my back line to the front. I don't like that. Actually, is really for the best that uh, he stayed in the back because he's going to start doing shitty things. This is the longest this fucker has lasted against me, but I don't have I I, I don't have the juggernaut teams that I have been uh, fielding in the past. Instead, I have a team. This would be a bit of a dice roll. I don't know if I want to take it, I'm not going to take it.
These bleeds do not count against his, uh, his champion. Or at least they shouldn't. Let's go ahead and peg in the amount of bleed he's taken. Ooh, thank god for that. What exactly did that just do? Did I am I am I crazy? Did he not have 41 armor a minute ago? No, he must have, because that doesn't add armor. So I must just not be paying attention. Um, uh, that wasn't the right card. That wasn't the right guy to play that card. scene is so fucking poignant, man. This game is really fucking good. I am very much looking forward to the paid DLC that is coming at the end of this month. It is going to include some new bosses, some new cards, some new guys, some new weapons, and a new character class. It's going to be an otter called a Powder Master. I'm not going to say too much about it. I only know the information that I have about it is uh, it's just whatever information they've already re re released, which is it's not really a whole lot. Like he, he has talents that revolve around the uh, mixing various powders together: red, yellow, and uh, pink. Okay. Hi there, the spy master. Are you going to give us some trouble this time? Think you could make me maybe last longer than a round? He said, tempting fate.
No, I guess not. Spy master. Come on, man. Really need to get your house in order. Like, seriously. What the fuck, man? Like, have some guys with you. You know? Like, maybe some of the spies that you are the master of, maybe they can start the combat around you so that they can maybe soak some 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 blows or do something. Do you just sort of stand there and fucking die? All right, so, Prince time. This is everything we have been building towards. I am... Okay. I'm going to be relying very heavily on... Flow. I'll have magnificent plates, so I'm just not working on these guys. This I'm a little concerned about. I don't have the the huge God Almighty damage that I have had in previous that I've had in previous uh, uh, runs to help me just blow through this in a short period of time. There is a very strong chance that I may lose this. Okay? Okay, just so we're clear. I'm not guaranteed to win this. I'm lagging behind real bad right away. Right away. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Problems. Oh shit. Okay. So I've got 65 damage coming towards this weasel. He's got one anticipation up. Hmm. Not good. At least one of them is gonna die. not the one I wanted to touch. Fuck me. Alright. Oh, that was a, just a straight-up mistake. Huh. Okay, well, at the very least, those two are down. I have a sneaking suspicion I'm going to lose someone this round. If I lose Terrawin, I might not be able to uh, beat this. Let's see. Oh. Yep, Terrawin is down. So, Terrawin had been the linchpin of my team, and now he is dead. Everything is worse. Thank you. 
if you don't play that, it does 15 damage to whoever, uh, whatever character it's, uh, uh tagged to. What is my plan? Okay, we're gonna muddle through the best we can. going to put it on this row because I can't afford to lose Kesselmead. He is my last hope. <laughs> you are our last hope. Okay. I gotta pick one of these guys and kill him. I have to pick a guy and kill him. through one more. Okay. He's gonna swap ranks. This motherfucker's gonna swap ranks. And that is almost definitely going to kill Thawsunder. So let's get as much use out of him right now as we can. Swap ranks. My, uh, my. Uh, I am almost definitely going to be losing my wolf because he's going to be swapping, and that's going to do the 14 damage from the crippled. I don't remember if crippled pierces. You know what? I can't afford it. Shit. Uh, who can't I afford to lose? Also. his armor. We have another round, at least. Fuck! Ah, I didn't do that. Shice. What are you doing? Okay, he's applying a bunch more uh, crippled. You are giving me some more crap. I'm just gonna keep on Dosing you with poison.
there goes my wolf. It was only a matter of time. So who do we got left? It is 15 damage to the wielder, and the wielder is dead. That's fine. Get rid of the hidden strike. Okay. Am I still in this? I'm still in this. I can still do this shit. It's amazing the difference that, uh, uh, it's amazing the difference that not having all of those extra red powders and mouses is, uh, makes, honestly. Okay, Endris over here is going to die. I don't think any of these guys have bleeds, so Castlemeat sh should theoretically be okay. I'm going to keep these Concealed Blades in my hand simply because I want them to banish out. These are uh, uh, more of my poor fallen weasels' possessions. Uh, okay. You know what? That's 24 damage times 3. Good. Oh, you know what? Hey, guess what, motherfucker? You're, he's dying from his... Uh, he's dying from his dots, but I... I, I just... I just want... I just want to take a fucking moment. I just want to take a fucking moment. Look at you now, you little cunt. Now, once again, he really can't do anything. He is, uh... uh I'm not going to discard anything. I'm going to let all these cards banish. When you lose a guy, when a guy gets killed, all of his uh, cards get this symbol on them. They stay in your deck, but they get this symbol on them. You then will draw them one last time, and then they'll banish at the end of that round. Actually, we'll take it this damage. Oh, you know what? Let's get that to you. You are actually taking That was, uh, honestly, that was much closer than I like. two guys there. That's the first time in one of these runs where I have lost even one. It was a good fight. It was a very good fight. That card that I just played, this fucking one, where the hell is it? I go back to my previous statement. Terrible Wound just isn't... It does do vitality damage, but I mean, like, it's... It just doesn't do enough. If I had a lot more, you know something? If I had a lot more powders it would be much 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 better just simply because the damage is doing to vitality but even so i mean the major effect of applying the wounds so that this no longer his bleed no longer ticks down it doesn't really matter it is it has yet to it is yet to be the difference in even a single fight okay gg We've already established the, that uh, uh, the, the prince is a prick. He did what he did out of fear and guilt because, wah, boo -hoo, daddy didn't love me enough and you didn't love me enough and nobody loves me enough, so I killed everybody. So we are just going to throw him over the balcony. Bye. All right, so after action report. Sledge wasn't shit. Grit Salt was not shit. Uh, the Warden 
was a, a, a trickier fight. Spy Master remains not shit, and the Prince, that fight finally actually presented a substantial stumbling block. And it's entirely because of the uh, party that I had and the cards that I had. I just didn't have enough raw damage to burn through the uh, his guards before they could uh, knock through my otherwise pretty substantial sustain. I had good heals, I had good armor. Anyway, uh, so I have going up one rank for hair i hope i hope hope give me my fucking hair rank yeah no god no why no i don't want to do that that's a terrible card never gonna play that why would i play that why would i play that i could spend you know let me spend preparation in return for moving well, I suppose he does have a lot of different things. Whenever this character moves, he gains three stamina, so that would dovetail into this very nicely. Uh, and also, uh, both characters gain 15, and the rest of his cards are also very uh, heavily uh, centered around move. I just don't like the idea of consuming preparation. But, okay. Anyway, uh, that was a pretty fun match. I... I, the the added challenge of having... The added challenge at the early, early game made a huge difference and i did kind of cripple myself a little bit by uh taking on three guys at once it did seem to have some impact on the amount of experience that i was pulling in eh, maybe i don't know i i feel like i had more guys with more passives when i had uh the last the last run that i did when i ended with five guys max and also the prince and the warden weren't able i mean they just sort of choked and died uh this felt more like what the game really should feel like. The uh, That last fight against the Prince really did feel quite tense, and uh, there was a strong chance I could have fucking died there, but I didn't. Thanks very much for coming along. I love you all, and uh, be good to each other. Have a great day. Be safe.